In this video, I'm going to talk to you about what my black guppy means to me. And pretty much whatever I think about whenever I see a solid, awesome black fish. Alright, so I think I've mentioned before, but I absolutely love this black guppy. I love all the guppies in this tank, but the black guppy is definitely my favorite. I know, I choose favoritisms in my fish, but it's whatever. It happens. But what I want to say is the black guppy, it's not just the aesthetically pleasing or, you know, how it looks or whatever about the black guppy. It's the story behind it. And it's not necessarily the story like how I got the guppy, but let me explain. All right, so to fully understand this, you gotta know there are some fish that I I absolutely love, and that is I love cichlids, I love goldfish, and I love live bears. Those are probably my three favorite categories right now. But that's not all I like. I'm just saying at this moment in time. You know, those are my top three favorites. Cichlids will probably always be my number one. And goldfish will always be my number two. But I bring that up because goldfish, all right? I, I classify goldfish and koi together. And when it comes to koi, there is the black koi, right? And there's a story behind the black koi. It's a... It basically represents... Um, it's a fish that you're supposed to have a single black koi in your koi pond and it's to absorb evils that you know may be surrounding the area and bring you good luck within your household and I love hearing those kinds of stories I love hearing other parts of the world's culture and different beliefs and things like that so that's just what I think about when I see this guppy not only that but it leads to an even more awesome story in my opinion so like i know i don't know if you guys ever realize this but have you ever seen like koi tattoos where the koi is swimming up river or maybe you've seen paintings of kois or drawings of kois and the koi is swimming up river so that actually represents something in chinese culture and that is like determination towards your goal strength and perseverance things like that and it's basically you know the story goes, the, there was a bunch of koi, and they were swimming up river, and this is going to be a real dumbed down version, because I didn't like look up the details or anything before this, I probably should have, but you got all these koi swimming up river, and they're determined to get to the waterfall at the end, and basically when the koi get to the waterfall, because the current is so strong, most of them just turn around and swim down river. Well, there was one koi that was so determined to make it all the way up the river that he swam up the waterfall, and he actually managed to make it to the top of the waterfall, and as a reward, he was turned into a dragon, and he basically was able to meet his full potential. Now, this is just a dumbed-down version of the story, but... That is what I think about every time I see the black koi, or sorry, the black guppy in my aquarium. And that's why I only got one of them. And actually, when I went to the store, they had a bunch of them. But because of that story, they say, you know, it's only good to have one black koi in your pond, a single one. So that's why I decided I'm only going to get one black guppy. So that being said, what do I not like about the black guppy? Well, one thing, it's so dang hard to see with the black background, and I didn't plan on getting the black guppy when I bought this fish tank, so it's kind of, you know, whatever, it, it happens, but what I will say is, if I were to do it again, I would get um, just a clear tank in the back, because this, this uh, background is actually built in, it's not like painted on and it's not you know like one of those roll up uh backgrounds it's actually a tinted piece of black glass so in the future if i plan on getting a black fish i'm not gonna do that but it's whatever 
what I will say, one advantage to a black background like this is like if you're going to get like a hang on back filter. And uh, basically, I like that because like, say you have like a stand that is not like completely, you know, a cabinet style stand. It's just, you know, you can see the legs of the stand and whatnot. Well, if you have a hang on back filter that just plugs straight into the wall, all you really see is a little portion of the cord at the bottom and the black background hides the whole filtration system. So that's one advantage to having this kind of black background, but that's not what I meant to talk about in this video. The uh, black guppy. I want to know in the comments, guys, what's your favorite like solid black fish or just any black fish in general? Like, is it a ghost knife? Is it like a, a black convict cichlid? I know they have stripes, but anything with black on it. What's your guys' favorite? And uh, maybe after watching this video, you guys will start thinking about the story that I told you about the dragon and about, you know, the black fish absorbing the evils. You know, I always like there to be a little bit of meaning when it comes to my fish tanks. And it just brings me a little bit more enjoyment too. So one thing I want to ask you guys while I'm on the topic of like my favorite fish. So there's a fish I'm looking for and it's pretty common. And uh, so I'll probably find it and I'll probably get it. But I have a couple ideas of what I want to do with my uh, tank as far as cichlids go. And I want to know from you guys, what fish do you think make like awesome pets? Like, like a lot of people get fish as like, they're almost like decorations and not like your actual pet, you know? And do you guys like name your fish? Do you name like your, do you like name every 200 tetras in your tank? Or do you just have like one centerpiece fish that you name? Or, you know, a special fish that goes in its own tank or whatever. Let me know what you guys think. I plan on doing that. I don't know what I'm going to choose yet. Maybe I'll decide here soon. I just love watching these guppies. They're like always so busy doing stuff. You know, they're, you see them, they're picking at every little leaf, every little bit of algae. And they're, these are just great fish, you know. Um, they're just... I like fish that are always active. And I've talked about this with like my guppy personality uh, video. But... I like fish that are like always active or um, like like cichlids they have a purpose but like like look at that black guppy he's just nibbling nibbling the whole time he's like eating eating algae it's like a salad to them you know algae is not necessarily bad for uh, your aquarium it's actually good for your water but a lot of people hate the look of it which is why I have plants instead of you know, I'm growing plants in this instead of algae. Um, and if you don't know, in this tank I have water wisteria. Oh, here comes a snail. Look at look at him chomping, chomping the algae. See, everything in this tank is just chomping away, like nonstop. And like that yellow guppy in the middle, it's just nonstop. It's awesome. But anyways. Um, the plants in this tank. I got water wisteria. I got java fern windelov, which is the fringely uh, java fern at the at the tips, and then I got regular java fern. I got uh, anubius there on the bottom right, and then you can't see in this shot, but I have anubius nana, but I'm pretty sure it's dead. Um, it hasn't grown since I got it. So, um, or I took this footage a while ago. That's why the plants don't look like they're growing. And basically, during my move, I'm in the process of moving, I am I have this footage where I can make videos for in my free time, you know, because, yeah, that's what I like to do. So, I definitely do plan on doing another planted tank. Like, when I set this tank up again, because it's since been torn down and packed away, when I set this tank up, it's going to be um, another planted tank and... Yeah, it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to start it. I don't know what fish I'm going to do yet, but we'll see. I, ha I have some special ideas coming, so, you know, nothing too crazy. But if you guys are new to this channel and you don't know, on this channel, I do a lot of tips videos for fish 
and uh, product reviews on this channel. And lately I haven't really been doing as many product reviews, and it's because of the reason where I said, you know, I'm in the middle of moving. It's kind of hard to bust out an aquarium filter when you're in the middle of driving and moving and stuff, you know. So that's why I haven't been seeing that. Uh, I don't think most people like product reviews anyway, but I kind of do it. I do them because I don't have a ton of fish tanks. I don't have a giant fish room and whatever, and I still want to make videos because it's seriously addicting to make YouTube videos. I don't know. I like it. But anyways, guys, that's me and my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Toodaloo.